Hey everybody, in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the three best pre-race tips for your half marathon. Number one is to test it before race day. I can't emphasize this enough, and I wanna talk about nutrition, shoes, and uniform. So often we get close to a race, whether it's our first half marathon, marathon, or any race for that matter. We get excited, emotions can get the best of us, and we're tempted to get a new pair of shoes, a new uniform, or maybe that new gel to try 10 miles into your race. And I'm just here to say that is number one step to sabotaging your race. Just because there's so many factors that your body might not be used to. Maybe it's the shoes you didn't break in and six miles in, they could be alpha flies, but you're getting these horrible blisters, boom, your race is kind of thrown out the window. You're trying a new gel that you've never tried. You never tested it on a long run prior to, and all of a sudden you get this nasty stomach ache, even though you're all excited about this new gel, even the packaging was cool, all these cool perks about it, but your body hadn't been tested prior to trying that during race day. Number three, your uniform. Sometimes uniforms can chafe, anything like that can be an issue prior to a race. If you're getting a material that you haven't run 10, 15, 20, 30 miles in prior to race day. So I just encourage you to be mindful of these things. Stick to what has worked. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, I know it's flashy, it's exciting to get a new pair of shoes, try that new gel, try that new uniform, but I just encourage you, if you are gonna do that, test it before race day, make sure things work. Number two is to get a great night of sleep two nights prior to your race. More often than not, we put a big emphasis on the day before your race, whether that's getting nutrition right, getting to bed early, staying off your feet, all great ideas. I think we should continue to do those. But more often than not, we're getting up really early on race day and we're excited, maybe we're anxious, all kinds of emotions, and often we're not getting great sleep the night before. That's just the reality of it. Sometimes you're getting up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., you're driving, you're giving yourself plenty of time, and that night of sleep prior is not that great. And so what I really think is important is to get a good night of sleep, maybe eight to 10 hours, two nights prior. So if your race is on Sunday, really focus on that Friday night, night of sleep. That's just setting you up for success because you don't know exactly what variables are coming your way Saturday night, whether that's with your mind, any kinds of things like that. Number two, get a great night of sleep before. Number three is to give yourself plenty of time the morning of. Whether it's a big race like a rock and roll marathon or even a smaller race, there's a lot of uncontrollable factors that giving yourself extra time will relieve a lot of stress and nerves. I think of times where I've showed up to a half marathon and there's a ton of traffic, the porta potty line is you know, 45 minutes long and things like that happen. You just have to be prepared for them. And so it's so important to give yourself extra time. It's kind of the most controllable factor that's gonna ease your nerves is if you just give yourself extra time to be prepared for traffic, getting to the start line, porta potties, giving yourself a good time to warm up, stretch and prepare for the race. So number three, give yourself great amount of time. 